tell me the stories of Jesus I love to hear things I would ask him to tell me if he were here Welcome to Guitar Lily Grandpa I'm Jim Hinkle welcoming you to a channel that celebrates Jesus in song scripture and occasional commentary. Let's see what today's video has in store. Today I'm going to focus on celebrating Jesus in Scripture as I read selections from Jesus the Life as it appears in the Whosoever New Testament edition. This book is a medley of the gospel accounts of the life of Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all woven together into a single narrative. I'm going to be reading from chapters titled Soul Solitary Sacrifice and Waiting the Coming Day, which give the gospel account of Jesus' passion, his arrest, trial, death, burial, and his resurrection. Listen in as I share this wonderful word about Jesus. Then the whole company of them rose up, and they led Jesus from Caiaphas and brought him before Pilate in the praetorium. It was early, and they themselves did not enter the praetorium, so that they might not be defiled and might eat the Passover. Therefore Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, If this man were not doing evil, we would not have delivered him up to you. Therefore Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves, and judge him according to your law. And the Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death, so that the word of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spoke signifying by what manner of death he should die. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this man perverting our nation, and forbidding the giving of tribute to Caesar, and saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Then Pilate entered again into the praetorium, and called Jesus, and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priest delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, well, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would fight to keep me from being delivered to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Therefore Pilate said to him, Well, are you a king then? Jesus answered, well, You say that I am a king. To this end I have been born, and to this end I am come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Whosoever is of the truth, hears my voice. Pilate said to him, what is truth? When he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault and no crime in this man. But they were all the more urgent, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, even to this place. But when Pilate heard it, he asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he knew that he was of Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod who also was at Jerusalem in these days. Now, when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad, for he had desired to see him for a long time because of what he had heard concerning him, and he hoped to see some miracle done by him. So he questioned him with many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him, and Herod, with his soldiers, showed him contempt, and mocked him, and arraying him in gorgeous apparel, sent him back to Pilate. Then Herod and Pilate became friends with each other that very day, for before this they were at enmity with one another. Pilate called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people, and said to them, you brought this man to me as one that perverts the people, and behold, having examined him before you, I found no fault in this man regarding those things of which you accuse him. No, nor did Herod, for he sent him back to us. 
Look, nothing worthy of death has been done by him. Therefore, I will flog him and release him. Then the chief priest accused him of many things. And when he was accused by the chief priest and elders, he answered nothing. So Pilate again asked him, saying, Do you answer nothing? Don't you hear how many things they testify against you and how they accuse you? But Jesus no longer answered anything. So much so that Pilate marveled. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the multitude one prisoner whom they asked of him. And they had then lying bound a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Barabbas was a robber who was thrown into prison for a certain insurrection made in the city, for inciting a riot, and for murder. Therefore, when the multitude went up and began to ask him to do as he was accustomed to do for them, Pilate said to them, Whom will you have me release to you? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ, the King of the Jews? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him up. Also, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent to him, saying, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded and stirred up the multitudes that they should ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. And when the governor answered and said to them, Which of the two will you have me release to you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, oh, What then will I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? And they all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, Why? What evil has he done? But they all cried out together, saying, Let him be crucified. Away with this man, release to us Barabbas. Pilate spoke to them again desiring to release Jesus. But they shouted all the more, saying, Crucify, crucify him. Then he said to them a third time, Why, what evil has this man done? I have found no cause to sentence him to death. Therefore I will flog him and release him. So Pilate took Jesus and flogged him. Then the soldiers called together the whole company and gathered them around him, and they stripped him and put a purple robe on him, and they crafted a crown out of thorns and put it upon his head, and a reed in his right hand, and they knelt down before him and worshipped him, bowing their knees. Then they began to salute him and mock him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck him with their hands, and they spat upon him, and took the reed, and struck him on the head. Then Pilate went out again, and said to them, Behold, I bring him out to you, that you may know that I find no crime in him. Now Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him, for I find no crime in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by that law he ought to die, because he has made himself the Son of God. When Pilate heard this saying, he was even more afraid, and he entered into the praetorium again and said to Jesus, from where are you come? But Jesus gave him no answer. Therefore, Pilate said to him, Are you refusing to speak to me? Don't you know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me unless it were given to you from above. Therefore, he that delivered me to you has the greater sin. Upon this, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone that makes himself out to be a king speaks against Caesar. Therefore, when Pilate heard these words, 
he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now, it was the preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. And he said to the Jews, Behold your king. And then they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then they cried out in earnest, Crucify him. They were urgent, demanding with loud voices that he should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. When Pilate saw that he did not prevail, but rather that a tumult was arising, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this righteous man. You see to it. And all the people answered and said, His blood be on us and on our children. So, wishing to satisfy the multitude, Pilate decreed that what they asked should be done. He released to them Barabbas, him that had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, for whom they asked. But Jesus, he delivered up to their will to be crucified. 